Hi everyone, my name is Coach Jen, and today we're going to review some of the key features of Sumo Paint. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am currently at sumo app slash paint slash en. So there are other ways to navigate to this part of the screen, but the easiest, just to avoid needing to click through a lot of buttons, is just to go to sumo.app slash paint dot en. So once you are there, you're going to see this blank canvas. So Sumo app is a great early tool to use for digital illustration because it has um, a lot of the features that you're gonna to wanna to use even um, when you become a professional digital illustrator one day. So um, we have a bunch of tools on this left-hand sidebar. And then we have information colors and layers on the bottom here. So layers is a really important concept in digital illustration. And it's something that you normally don't get to use if you're just using a pen and paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle this area here. So notice the so layers. So what's cool about layers is it basically enables you to have multiple layers, almost like sheets of paper that are on top of each other. And that you can actually edit separately. So today we'll kind of see some of the benefits of uh, using different layers. There's a big plus sign at the bottom here. That's where you will actually add layers. If you do not see the plus sign, um, sometimes if, um, depending on your browser, if you have other things open, it might get hidden. So for example, now my colors is open and I can't see the plus sign for the layers. So you can always just minimize other things in order to make sure you're really seeing all the layers. So I'm gonna go, to I'm gonna go ahead and plus, press plus, boop, and that adds a layer two. So you'll notice this layer one, it actually has a white background by default. So you'll notice this rectangle looks all white. So it's actually the color white. Um, versus if you look here on layer two, you see this funny checkered pattern. So it's a gray and white. That means it's actually transparent, so you can see through it. So let's see um, what this actually looks like um, when we're working on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select this pen tool so I can draw my outline. Um, for today, we're gonna do something just super basic. We're just gonna draw a face. So again, it's the fourth tool down on the right column. It's called the pencil tool. Um, I'm just gonna draw like a big kind of oval face. I'm gonna draw a happy, a happy person with smiling eyes and a smiling face. I'm gonna go ahead and color in this mouth. So you can do any design you want. Um, the main thing is just to practice with layers today. Okay, so you'll notice now, when you look at the layers, you can actually see kind of like a mini thumbnail version of this picture in this corner here. And that's how you can tell you're working on the correct layer. Um, I'm gonna now add an additional layer. So this is my basic outline of the face I definitely um, want. I'm gonna add another layer just by pressing this plus sign again. And you'll notice it now says layer three, layer two, layer one. And so you can still see layer two and you can still see layer one, even though I'm drawing on layer three. So let's say for layer three, I wanna do some like accessorizing. Maybe I'll do some, I'll, um, I'm gonna have a, a cool baby with a little curly 
um, Q hair, and then maybe I'll um, add some funky sunglasses to this baby. So now you'll notice the drawing that I just did, that is in layer three. And there's this really cool thing here that looks a bit like an eyeball. And when it's gray, dark gray like this, that means you can actually see the layer. Let's see what happens when I click it. Oh, now it's light gray and that layer disappears. It's still there, the computer still remembers my drawing, but you just can't see it anymore. So what's really cool is you can see, oh, what does baby look like with my accessories? What does baby look like without my accessories? Once I decide, you know what, I don't wanna make a baby. I wanna make a cool kid with a lot of curly hair. Or let's say, let's say, let's say we're gonna do straight hair, so we'll have a different design. So I'll take now the eraser tool. So the eraser tool is right next to the pencil tool. So that's the eraser. It looks like um, kind of a rectangle shape. This is what our old school erasers used to look like. And you, you rub it against your pencil on your piece of paper. So that's what that kind of little corner is. Um, so when you pick your eraser tool, oops, you can actually now take it, I'm going to go ahead and make it this thick brush style. So you have lots of different options for um, what kind of eraser, which shape you want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and erase the hair. But what's super cool about this is you'll notice when I'm rubbing against the outline of the baby's face, I do not erase it. I'm only erasing the hair and a bit of the glasses because that's what's on layer three. I can, I'm only erasing now the layers, the layer that I'm on. So that's really cool. If you wanna keep layer two the same, this allows you to very easily do this. And this is something you can't really do on a regular piece of paper. Like if you're drawing with pencil and you draw things on top of the other thing, when you erase it, all of the pencil goes away in that area. But you know what, oops, I actually wanted to keep the glasses. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click undo here, up in the top right. When I click undo, it will restore what I did. Okay, so my glasses are back. If I wanted to redo, I just click it again. Sorry, I click the button right next to it. But I wanna keep the glasses. Okay, so now I can go ahead and click back my pencil tool and I can draw. Now, ha, it kinda looks like a helmet. I'm gonna draw, boop, 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 boop. Some messy hair, some messy straight hair. <laughs> so let's say I wanted to add color um, to my design. I'm actually gonna go back to layer one. So now I'm layer one and I'm gonna go to this color section over here on the right. Let's say I wanna add, what, like purple. Let's say I want all this Fun color, it's looking a bit like, you know, like I'm making like a fun wig. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and color it here. And I'm gonna just do a whole outline of the area that I want to be in purple. Now I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool. So the paint bucket tool is way over here. That allows you to actually just quickly fill a whole space with color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and all the hair turns blue. It's not perfect, so I can actually go ahead and um, fill in these white spots. But same as what we had discussed before, if I go ahead and I click the eyeball next to layer one, it will make that disappear. So all that color goes away. So layer one is where all my color is. Boop. 
so you can see it. All of these layers, they act together and they enable us to do super cool stuff with our digital art. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how to save your work. So um, as you probably noticed, I didn't sign in to Sumo app. You don't have to in order to save your work. What you can do is just go in this top left corner Click File, and then you can save to your computer. Um, I'm going to call it Purple Hair. I will click Save. And then now you can see, I can go ahead and just drag it to my desktop. Oop, there's my Purple Hair. And let's say you actually just want to save the face. So I'm going to deselect. Um, the other parts, I'm just going to click save to my computer here. I'm just going to call it face. And you'll see, oh, I'm just saving the face. So layers also allows you to save different versions of your illustration very easily um so i hope you all have fun doing that review of sumo paint um, we're going to do a lot more work using layers and digital illustration very soon take care everyone